Hey, my name is Robert Brashear. I teach PE at Hutzel Elementary. I wanted to invite you guys today to come with me on a journey through our heart adventure course here at Hutzel. It's set up to represent a human heart and we get to move through it just like blood moves through our own heart. So what you're gonna need to start with is a blue scooter and a blue playground ball. So the blue playground ball represents deoxygenated blood. That means blood that does not have oxygen in it. So when we start our heart adventure, we start in the right atrium and we go through. Now, when you go through here, the students in our classes sit on the scooter and they hold the ball on their lap and they scooter along. So they go through the right atrium, learning how blood flows. And we get up to our first valve and the first valve is the, is the tricuspid valve. Okay, so they're gonna go through this little tunnel right here, and then we get into the right ventricle of the heart. Now, in the right ventricle, the students ride on their scooters, and they go around these cones, all the way around the outside. So they're learning the blood flows from the right atrium, through the tricuspid valve, to the right ventricle, and around. And now here we are at the pulmonary valve. The pulmonary valve takes you, if you're a blood cell, through it and you get into the pulmonary vein. Or I'm sorry, not the pulmonary vein, the pulmonary artery. Now the pulmonary artery is represented by this long rope and students are sitting on their scooter and they get to pull themselves along the rope with the blood vessel or the, the blood cell represented by the blue ball. And they're pulling themselves along this this rope on their scooter. So they're going, 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 going. They get all the way down here, and then they go turn their scooter and their ball into the next person waiting over there um, in line to start the cycle. And then what they do after you go through the pulmonary artery is you go up to the lungs. So we've got our lungs set up on the stage, and our lungs are represented by jump ropes on the ground. So students pick up a jump rope, they jump 10 times, and then they come over here, they grab a pulse bar, Hold on to the pulse bar and check their pulse, see how fast their heart's beating. And then, after we teach them that after the blood gets oxygen in it from the lungs, we come on over to the, back to the heart, to the left side of the heart. And now we're going through the left atrium, which is the top left hand part of your heart. So the left atrium in our course is represented by these hula hoops. They jump through the hula hoops. And they come up to the next valve right over here, the mitral valve. They gotta go under and through the mitral valve to the left ventricle. And the left ventricle we chose to represent with hurdles. So they jump over the hurdles, just like I'm doing right now. Over the hurdles. And once we make it through the hurdles, we go to the aortic valve. Okay, the aortic valve takes us through the, um, to the aorta, which is the biggest blood vessel in your body. You crawl through the aorta, and then you come out to the other side. So, once you get through the aorta, you've got two choices in our course. You can go this way to the brain through this tunnel. The brain is represented by a trampoline. You go jump five times on the trampoline, and then you go turn your red blood cell ball back in. Um, and if you choose to go through this tunnel, you go to all other body parts. So if you go through that tunnel, you come over here, get a red ball out of the trash can, and you show us your basketball skills by dribbling all the way around the edge of the perimeter of the gym, all the way around, coming back around in front of the stage, back to us, you turn your ball in, and then what you do is you go repeat the cycle starting at the blue side, and then you get to go do the whole thing again. So our students in class are just recycling through the whole thing, repeating themselves, um, just like blood flows in the body. And we try and teach them after they get tired, hey, your blood doesn't stop pumping. Your heart does not stop pumping. If it did, you'd probably have a serious problem. So we wanna make sure that we're trying to teach our students at Hutzel that that's the cycle of the blood, that's where it goes, um, and that's how our heart adventure course works. Now, let's review some of the stuff we just taught them today. We just taught them skills in each of the three learning domains. We taught them the psychomotor domain, taught them the cognitive domain, we taught them the effective domain. So the psychomotor domain is pretty much 
simply physical movements, okay? So we worked on scooters, working on um, balance and stability and leg strength, working with the scooters, going down and around everything, work on flexibility, um, going underneath the valves. You work on coordination with scooters, going around the cones, and you work on upper arm strength by pulling yourself along the rope, um, coming back, then you come up to the lungs, you work on coordination by jumping and landing, you work on that's a teak we hit, jumping and landing, come through here, you're working on more body coordination and aerobic ability by running through the cones, agility, footwork, foot timing, foot speed, up and over the hurdles, back through, you work on getting down low and crawling through objects such as our aortic tunnel that we've got, you work on jumping and landing on the trampoline, uh, so lots of physical skills that we teach. Now, we also teach cognitive skills, and you might think, well, what's cognitive skills? Well, cognitive skills are simply skills that you use your brain to remember, and you can verbally give the answer. So we teach them all the different um, parts of the heart, um, such as the right atrium, right ventricle, and the different names of the valves. They gotta repeat those back to us from time to time just to make sure that they're learning them. Um, and then the cognitive or the effective domain, you're learning how to interact with each other, how to work as a team to make the whole unit run and work smoothly. You're working on sharing equipment, you're working on taking turns and following one after the other and following the leader. So there's lots of different areas that we teach using this course throughout all three learning domains. And we're also teaching cross curricular skills such as reading and spelling um, with the signs we have out so they know what the um, you know what the anatomy of the heart is we teach science by teaching the anatomy of the heart the way the blood flows we teach a sequence pattern which is part of a math skill that students need to know how to sequence and pattern everything so we're teaching three separate core curriculum um, main concepts here through a physical activity in PE. So any of you that think that um, PE is just dodgeball and tug of war, you're vastly mistaken. It's so much more than that nowadays and I'm blessed to be in a district where we promote and excel at PE. Um, and anyways, that is our Heart of Venture course. So thank you for taking that journey with me today. I appreciate you watching and giving a little bit of your time today. Um, that's about it. Remember, if you're not learning, you're not living. Have a good day, y'all.